بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طلبة الصف الرابع الأمراض الباطنية محاضرتنا اليوم أمراض الجهاز التنفسي هي تكملة لمحاضرة السابقة اللي هي ديفيوز برانكامل لانج ديزيز أو انترستيشال لانج ديزيز أو بلمونري فايبروس وي ديسكاس إن ذا بريوس ليكتشر انديوباتيك بلمونري فايبروسيز ناو توداي ويل ديسكاس إن ذيس ليكتشرز امبورتنت ديزيز which is not so common in our region which is called the sarcoidosis sarcoidosis is a multi-systemic gyromatous disorder of unknown etiology that is characterized by the presence of non-caseating gyromas this is very important thing in the pathology of the sarcoidosis is the presence of non-caseating gyroma which, which is differentiate this disease from another common disease which is called a tuberculosis which is characterized by caseating granuloma while sarcoidosis is characterized by non-caseating granuloma is more frequently described in colder parts of northern Europe also appear to be more common and more severe in those from a West Indian or Asian background so it is more common in the colder parts of the world, especially in Northern Europe. Also, it's more common and more severe in those from West India or Asian background. Eskimos, Arabs, means ours, and Chinese are rarely affected. So, Arabs, Eskimos, and Chinese are rarely affected. They found that the tendency for sarcoid to present in the siblings and summers of the year has led to speculations as to the role of infective agents including mycobacteria, bacteria and viruses but the cause remain elusive. So this, is, this, this, this idea is not confirmed now or this suspicion is not confirmed now, now or not confirm or not exclude the role of infectious agents in the pathogenesis of sarcoidosis. What about genetic susceptibility? Genetic susceptibility is supported by familiar clustering. A range of class 2 HLA alleles confer protection from, the, from all susceptibility to the condition. So there is I mean, some genetic susceptibility but not support. Occurs less frequently in smokers and this is different from <coughs> the uh, uh, pulmonary fibrosis which is uh, strongly associated with smoking, with cigarette smoking, while sarcoidosis is less frequently in smokers. This is the non-caseating granuloma, and this slide show the histopathology of the sarcoidosis. This is non-caseating granuloma, and this is differs from, as I mentioned, from the common disease, uh, which is called the tuberculosis, which is characterized by caseating granuloma. What about the features of sarcoidosis? <clears throat> more, than, more than 90 percent of cases affect the lungs, but the condition can affect almost any organs. I mean, extra pulmonary affection of the of our body by sarcoidosis. But over 90 percent of cases affect the lungs. Sometimes. Sarcoidosis was simply with an acute form of sarcoidosis, which is called Lovegreen syndrome, which is characterized by erythematosum, Lovegreen syndrome, erythematosum, peripheral arthropathy, uveitis, bilateral hilar or hilar lymphadenopathy, lethargy, and occasional fever. And is often seen in young adults. It is common among Caucasian, but rare in the Korean population. This is called of Green's syndrome, which is an acute form of sarcoidosis, can be a presenting features of sarcoidosis. Pulmonary disease may also present in a more insidious manner with cough, exertional dyspnea, and radiographic infiltration. This is a pulmonary presentation of sarcoidosis, uh, insidious onset, cough, exertional dyspnea, or breathlessness with radiographic infiltration. Chest auscultation is often surprisingly, surprisingly unremarkable, 
Well, in Jabal Purim fibers, there is bilateral lower zone and spiratory crackles. So this is another difference from Jabal Purim fibers. Fibrosis occurs in around 20% of cases of pulmonary sarcoidosis and may cause a silent loss of lung function, gradually loss of uh, function of the lung. Poor disease is uncommon and finger clubbing is not a feature. While in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, we mentioned that the finger clubbing is a feature. Bilateral basal and spiritual crackles is a feature, but here there is no a remarkable basal crepitations and the clubbing or finger clubbing is not a feature. Sometimes can result with complications of sarcoidosis like bronchiectasis, sometimes patients present with aspergilloma, can present with pneumothorax, air in the pleura, pulmonary hypertension, and core pulmonial have been reported but are rare. So, patient can present with complication like bronchiectasis, aspergilloma, pneumothorax, pulmonary hypertension, and core pulmonary have been reported, but are rare. This is this cartoon shows the systemic involvement in sarcoidosis. As I mentioned, in about above 90-90 percent involve the lungs, but can involve other system, and this is called the systemic involvement of sarcoidosis or extrapulmonary involvement. Uh, might involve the brain, which is called patchy meningitis, can be present as a space occupying lesion, can be present as diabetes insipidus when involved the pituitary gland, can involve the eye due to the anterior uveitis, sickle syndrome, and if you have enlargement in the cervical lymph node, bilateral higher or higher lymphadenopathy, involve the heart, cardiac arrhythmias, heart block, sudden death, involve the spleen, spleen, Involve the kidneys before calcinosis, hypercalcium to the increased level of calcium, renal stones due to the increased level of the calcium in the blood. Can, can involve the skin, it is called erythema nodosum. This is a white, elevated, tender, uh, red patch. White, tender, elevated patches, it's called erythema nodosum. Can involve the joint, arthropathies, osteoporosis. Can involve the bone, osteoporosis. Again, can involve the lacrimal gland due to the lacrimal gland enlargement, bowel gland enlargement. Involvement of the cranial nerves might lead to the cranial palsy. Nasal cutaneous sarcoid, which is called lupus perineum, lupus perineum, which means by which is mean by lupus perineum, is a nasal cutaneous sarcoid lesion. This is as appear in this picture. Involve the lungs, transition lung disease, which we discuss now. Rhinomatous liver disease will involve the liver, involve the bones due to the pharyngeal bone cyst, skin plagues and nodules, infiltration of scars. This is one of the also can involve the uh, mono mono joints or it is called mononeuritis multiplex and peripheral neuropathy. Neurological injury to the uh, patchy meningitis might lead to the mono mononeuritis multiplex peripheral neuropathy will involve the nerves. This is a systemic, a possible systemic involvement in sarcoidosis. How sarcoidosis is present? Can be present asymptomatically. I mean asymptomatic abnormal routine chest x-ray and this is comprised about 30% of the cases or abnormal level function test. Either asymptomatic, only abnormal routine chest x-ray about 30% or abnormal level function test might present uh, by respiratory and constitutional symptoms in about 20 to 30 percent. Again, 20 to 30 percent covers arthenodosum and arthralgia. About 5 to 10 percent ocular involvement or ocular symptoms. About 5 percent skin sarcoid, including lupus penio, means sarcoids of the skin around the nose. 5 percent superficial fetal and other presentation comprise about 1% example hypercalcemia, diabetes insipidus, cranial nerve palsy, cardiac arrhythmias, nephrocalcinosis, etc. So, about 30% asymptomatic, 20 to 30% respiratory and constitutional symptoms, 20 to 30% arthenodosum, about 5 to 10% ocular manifestations, 5% skin sarcoid, superficial adenopathy, about 5%, and other presentation 
about one person. What are the investigation of sarcoidosis? First, complete with pictures, lithopenia is a characteristic and liver function test may be mild or large. Calcium level, hypercalcemia may be present. Serum angiotensin confounding enzyme level, which is a specific Chest radiograph has been used to test sarcoids, I will mention in the next slides. Pulmonary function tests show a receptive type of pulmonary function test. Exercise tests may reveal oxygen desaturations. Transbronchial and the bronchial biopsies show non-caseating granulomas. And the mucus may have a cobblestone appearance at bronchoscopy. Cobblestone appearance at bronchoscopy. These are the what is called invasive investigation. This is a chest x-ray show higher bilateral header or higher lymphedema body as is seen by mentioned by arrow. This is a lymph node, this is a lymph node, this is a lymph node, higher, this is higher lymph node, and this is higher lymph node. So what are the chest exit changes in sarcoidosis and by which the sarcoid states in about four stages. Stage one, bilateral higher lymphedemopathy, usually symmetrical. Stage two, bilateral higher lymphedemopathy and bilateral infiltrates. Stage three, bilateral infiltrates without bilateral higher lymphedemopathy. Stage four, pulmonary fibrosis can cause progression to ventilatory factor, failure, pulmonary hypertension, and core pulmonia. This is a stages of the sarcoidosis according to the chest X-ray findings. The bronchial barrier fluid typically contains an increased CD4 to CD8 TCL ratio. There is a characteristic high resolution CT scan which includes reticulomedular opacities that follow a perilymphatic distribution centered on a bronchial vascular bundle and the subpleural uh, areas. And this is, uh, uh, these are the characteristics high resolution CT scan appearances of sarcoidosis. The occurrence of arteriodosum with bilateral higher lymph nodes on chest x-ray is often sufficient for a confident diagnosis of sarcoidosis without recourse to uh, a tissue bias. So, I will repeat, the presence of arteriodosum with bilateral higher lymphadenopathy on chest x-ray sufficient for a confident diagnosis of sarcoidosis without recourse to a tissue bias, without proceeding to tissue biopsies. Similarly, a typical presentation with a classical high resolution CT scan features may also be accepted. A typical presentation with classical high resolution CT scan features may also be accepted to confirm the diagnosis without proceeding to tissue biopsy. In other instances, the diagnosis should be confirmed by histological examination of the involved organ. The presence of allergy, example, to tuberculosis skin test, may support the diagnosis. Means what we mean by energy is absent of response to tuberculin skin test, which is called uh, energy, energy, or skin test energy. Clear? How to manage patients with acute illness or with sarcoidosis? Patients who present with acute illness and erythematosum should receive non-steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. And if symptoms are severe, a short course of corticosteroid. So, first, non-steroidal anti inflammatory drugs plus short course of corticosteroids if symptoms are severe. And the majority of patients enjoy spontaneous remissions and so if there is no evidence of organ damage, systemic corticosteroid therapy can be withheld for six months. Brednozolone at starting dose of 20 to 40 mg per day should be commenced immediately in the presence of hypercalcemia, pulmonary impairment, renal impairment and UVS. So what are the indications of a starting dose of 20 to 40 mg of brednozolone? should be commenced immediately when there is hypercalcemia first, second when there is pulmonary impairment, when there is renal impairment, and when there is uveitis. Topical steroid may be useful in cases of mild uveitis. All glucocorticoids administered for 4 to 24 months, that means for about 6 months to 2 years, Improved chest X-ray appearance and symptom, but there is little evidence of an improvement in lung function, and there are no data from follow-up beyond two years. So I will repeat: oral glucocorticoids administered for six to twenty-four months. Improved what? Improved chest X-ray appearance. 
improve symptoms, but little evidence of improvement in life function. And there is no data from follow-up beyond two years. So, what are the features that are suggesting a less favorable outlook? Include age more than 40 years, Africa, Caribbean ethnicity, persistent symptoms for more than six months, involvement of more than three organs, lowest perineal and stage three to four on chest X-ray. These are features suggesting of less favorable outlook of the treatment of the sarcoidosis. Age more than 40 years, Africa, Caribbean ethnicity, persistent symptoms for more than six months, involvement of more than three organs, lupus perineum and stage 3 to 4 on checks x-ray. In patients with severe disease, methotrexate can be used with azithiopine, uh, imurans, mean imurans, and specific tumor cross factor alpha inhibitors, which is called biological therapy, have been effective. Chloroquine hydroxychloride and low-dose th th thalidomide may be used for incutaneous sarcoidosis with limited pulmonary involvement. Selected patient may be referred for conservation for single link transplantation. The overall mortality is low, about 1 to 5 percent, and usually reflect cardiac involvement or pulmonary fibrosis. So the major causes, or leading cause of the mortality in sarcoidosis is usually reflected or due to the cardiac involvement or pulmonary fibrosis. Thank you.